So guys, there was something like Mohammed said one time when he was trying to justify the because that's just the way people saw it. Justify the way Amana bandits have been operating in the north. And when he made reference to what is happening in Lagos, making reference to Agbiros in Lagos, that uh, Nigerians are trying to be hypocritical about this whole thing, that you are complaining about bandits collecting taxes, not allowing farmers to get into their farms and what have you. But the government is still denying it. They are not seeing it as a threat because any little, any small thing, they will come out and tell you that, uh, oh, they have been able to, they have, uh, what is they, they always say, okay, like Mohammed used to say that they have decimated the Boko Haram, they have done this, they have done that, that uh, there is no place or there is no local government that these bandits are, you know, that is under the siege of a Boko Haram or bandits or whatever. You know, they have a different types of uh, groups that are working against uh, the people. But uh, when the fire was just too much then, and he now came out and said, what are you people talking about? Go to Lagos. Are people not doing the same thing? You know, he was trying to, and people were like, oh, you are trying to justify the activities of these uh, bandits. And I, he didn't even reply, but that was what people were able to deduce from the statements. And when you don't look back with what is happening in Lagos, because when you talk about Agbiru, People tell you that we have Agbiru. We have Agbiru all over the country. But what's the place that comes to mind first where they operate at high level that the government, you know, giving them some kind of backing? You can see it. You can see it. I remember the same vi uh, deputy governor of Lagos State, this Amza Femi. That man uh, is something else. You would think he does not talk, but what comes out of that kind of man, uh, you'll just be surprised that really? He said it. I think around last year too that uh, there's nothing Lagos State can do about Agbiru that they are just there, you know. It's just like uh, you have to manage, manage them. You have to cope with them because people have seen over the time the way and manner they are being used, especially during election time. See the commercial drivers now that are on on strike. They are protesting because of what? Because of this attitude of these uh, Agbirus making life uncomfortable for them but uh, the head of uh, the agbiru mc Uloma, has come out to say no they are not uh, obtaining them they are not extorting them they are not doing this and that of course what do you expect them to do and uh, people expect the government legal state government to have called these people to have one on one talk with them because they've been complaining that agbirus will not allow them to drink water and keep up they didn't do anything until they started their protests or strike i think two days ago so when you begin to see what is happening, uh, what is now, you begin to look at what Lai Muhammad said. It might be in a different uh, uh, thing, but people are choking. People are choking. People who are selling hawkers on the road, they will not allow them to breathe. If you have shobu, wahala, if you are in a, how do you say, their market, it is another thing. Especially with this election that is coming up. With this election that is coming up, we have seen how they are forcing people to come and campaign, to come and, you know, to hold rally for Tinubu. It's, it's there. Unless we want to deceive ourselves. Unless we want to deceive ourselves. The whole thing is out there. And the rape of the movement now is the issue of a people going to get their PVC, even as at when people were registering for their PVC. You can imagine what was happening, that some thugs are trying to disenfranchise some people because they don't want them to collect it and it's still happening now but they will pretend government will pretend about it and we have said this over and over again i think the statement was made yesterday by malami saying that they have done everything and i was telling somebody one thing is for people to know that there's a problem if somebody believes that there's no problem that means and there's problem that means it is finished how can that problem be solved they are telling us to our faces that they have done everything that Nigerians are happy with them. And people are like, why are the Nigerians happy with you? They say the area of security, according to Malami, they have done it, that they have transformed Nigeria and they have empowered Nigerians. Who are the people that they have empowered? People are saying maybe the so-called bandits and the likes of them that you have empowered. Because every day we hear repentance bandits, repentance Esme, repentance Bukwara. That is what we hear. 
you've empowered them. And they will say, oh, they are they, they radicalize them, they are re-strategizing them, they are re-whatever them into the society. And if somebody with the way Nigerian, the way Nigerians are complaining, everybody's biting the economy, the the, the whole thing is biting everybody. And somebody will come out and tell you that say they have done well. So what else do you want them to do? They are not going to do anything. That is what it means. That is exactly what it means. So coming back to this uh, Agbiru and the bandits, you begin to ask yourself, what is the difference between the Agbirus and the bandits that are collecting levies, taxes from people in the north? But it will not make round because the government does not want Nigerians to know about it. I remember when BBC did a documentary concerning the Boko Haram and whatever. They were so angry. They were so annoyed. Why would they do this? But unfortunately, people watch it and people have moved on because they know that uh, it's not just going to be for two or three days or at least at most one week. People will, will be rattled. People will talk about it. And before you know, another thing will come up and move on. But at, as at when it happened, the federal government was not happy that a uh, the BBC had to do that documentary. It's there for everyone to see. They are not happy about it. And that is why they will continue to conceal these uh, activities of uh, Boko Haram, the bandits and the likes of them in the north, just to give the impression that uh, they are working. And people begin to ask if there's no agenda to what end with this whole thing go. It's just so ridiculous. So, 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 so ridiculous. For how long are we going to go with this a lot of injustice moving you know going on left right and center across board so the bone of contention now is that what is the difference between bandits in the north and the agbiros in the in lagos but irrespective of how you want to say it because people are still going through stuff like now it's like most of them in the north now especially the farmers that say that they they they've taken over their farms but they are just trying to be lenient. I, mean, I don't know. I can say lenient because these guys, these so companies, they can collect their land, take over their land, and nothing will happen. You don't even have a, you know, if they don't want you to go there, because I learned that say, some of them go to their farm maybe once a week or two times a week, as the case may be, and you have a, the hours, the amount of hours you are going to spend, they will allow you to go there. You are, Maybe you are the one that will even be working for them, do everything, and they would give you like three hours a day. Out of that three hours, you have to spend two hours. So the remaining one hour, you easy to move yourself and leave that place. Because if you still want to finish the three hours and they meet you there, it's going to be a different thing. So people too are used to that kind of a thing. Okay. Uh, uh, we have a, some places that these guys are controlling. These bandits and the book around, they are controlling. And people are paying taxes. They are paying to them. So they are even used to them. So the same thing happening in Lagos. People are now used to them. Hey, they are not going to harm us. But okay, collect what you want to collect and let me go my own way. And that is exactly what is happening in the north. Uh, we know that you are paying to you. We know that these are the bandits. They are now the governments of that place. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.